Hey y'all, I am in Washington DC on the National Mall and more specifically, I'm at the monuments to our 16th president. I'm at the Lincoln Memorial. Let's go check this out. The memorial was completed in 1922. It was designed by Henry Bacon to resemble the Parthenon in Athens. There are 36 Doric columns surrounding the memorial to represent the states in the Union in 1865, the year of Lincoln's death. And the names of 48 states are located on the top part. Alaska and Hawaii, which joined the Union after the memorial's completion, were at later and have a plaque on the ground outside. The memorial is on the west side of the National Mall, just before the Potomac River and Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. Quite a few historical events have happened here, especially for civil rights. In 1939, the Daughters of the American Revolution refused to let African American singer Marian Anderson perform at their Constitution Hall, so Eleanor Roosevelt and Secretary of the Interior Harold Eakes arranged for her to perform here on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial to an audience of 75,000. And on August 28, 1963, the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom took place on the National Mall, and this is where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Also, this is the location of a scene from my favorite movie, Forrest Gump, where Forrest gives a speech about Vietnam that no one hears because the audio equipment was torn out by some guy in the military. There was only one thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. Well, there's only one thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. Inside the memorial is the giant statue of seated Lincoln by Daniel Chester French. This is a shrine to 16th President Abraham Lincoln. He's probably the most revered American of all time. He was president during the nation's most tumultuous time. The slavery issue had reached a breaking point with his election in 1860, and the southern states seceded and created the Confederate States of America. Then a four-year-long civil war broke out, the bloodiest in American history, claiming hundreds of thousands of lives. But the Union did survive under his leadership, and he wrote the Emancipation Proclamation, and he got the 13th Amendment passed, freeing the slaves. But five days after General Lee's surrender, he was assassinated and didn't live to lead reconstruction of the nation. On the side wall, his second inaugural address is engraved. And this is the Gettysburg Address. The location of the memorial is perfect. It has an incredible view of the Washington Monument and U.S. Capitol. And I also visited at nighttime. Thank you.